guys, welcome back to my channel. I did a quick little trip to the drugstore this morning in between dropping off, picking up, bringing kids here and there. So I picked up a few things to try out and just wanted to do a get ready with me everyday kind of makeup look for you guys and this is what I came up with. So if you guys would like to see what I picked up at the drugstore and how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. So I just dropped my one son off at training, another son off at work, and I thought I have an hour before I have to go pick him up. So let's do a little get ready with me. I stopped by the drugstore on my way home and picked up a couple things. I needed more micellar water, so I picked up the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water 4-in-1, and this was with the Hyaluronic Acid and Aloe. I've tried a couple of the other ones. I tried... This one for normal to sensitive skin for waterproof makeup and then this one was just normal to sensitive skin and it was in the pink container. I found that the one from the pink container got my makeup off better than the one that was for waterproof makeup but this also says shake to activate and I don't know if I did that. So thought I would try a different one. And I'm just going to give my face a little swipe, actually, of it right now, um, just to take off any excess makeup that might be on my skin or my eyes. And it is very warm out today, but we are probably going to be in the rinks for most of it, which is fine. I am not one to really buy a lot of skincare at the drugstore, but I was just browsing through their aisles and they have so much more now, so many more kind of little brands and it's kind of like, I feel like there might be some hidden gems in there, like definitely with the Indeed Laboratories, the Nano Bronze was something that I found that I really liked and they have their own kind of skincare line. So I was just looking and there's a skincare line called My Ingredients and all of these were like, had a discount on them. So I thought for $7.99, $6.99, why not try this one? So it is made in South Korea and this is Caffeine Under Eye Solution Helps to reduce the appearance of dark circles and eye puffiness. And I don't have any um, eye cream right now, so I thought I will try this out. So cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, skin-perfecting treatment. Uh, let's see. After cleansing, gently apply the solution around the eye area. Use once or twice daily. If irritation occurs, cease use and consult the physician. Yada, yada, yada. So, Let's just give this a whirl. I had no idea what it would look like. So cute, it's in the nice darker bottles and it is more of a serum than a cream. So let's check it out. They also had a vitamin C cream. So thinking if I do like this, maybe I will check that out. I'll let you know in the description box how um, my skin felt throughout the day with the my ingredients, if there was any kind of reaction or I didn't like it. So I'll put that in there. I just put on some of my Daily Protection Skin Moisturizer SPF of 50 from Image, which I've been loving. Just keeps my skin so hydrated all day long, glowy and protected from the sun. I don't want anything too heavy on my skin today just because it's going to be warmer. So I am gonna go in with my Nano Bronze, my Indeed. I saw these on sale actually at Shoppers Drug Mart right now and they had some, so definitely check it out if you are wanting to spend less than buying the Drunk Elephant. I'm gonna go in with my Image Vital C as well, just my daily moisturizer, mix that around, and just get a nice golden glow on. I haven't really been using any self-tanner, not that I tan my skin during the summer, like my face, um, I keep it covered, but I haven't really, I've just been lazy to do like self tanner on my face. So I just try to bronze it up a lot with 
the bronzing drops or just bronzer and stuff like that. I also did my brows off camera, so if you guys would like to see how I do my brows, I will link that video for you guys to check it out. I'm going to go in with my Milani liquid contour and I'm going to pop some of that on just for a little bit more bronze to the skin. gonna add a touch of concealer on the inner corners of my eyes. I feel like my eyes are looking nice and bright underneath with that caffeine under eye solution. Looking good, looking hydrated. We'll blend that out with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Just kind of pat that in to the inner corner. Go in with your finger if you want. Gonna add a touch more bronze to the skin, so I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, just to add a little bit more of a little tan glow. And I find that this bronzer won't kind of, it'll let the luminosity of your makeup shine through still. Won't mattify it too much. I also picked up this putty blush from e.l.f. I got it in the shade Bahamas and it is infused with argan oil and vitamin E. So also really nourishing for the skin. I really wanted to find more of an orange blush. I said in a previous video, I kind of find that the brush, the blushes that have more of an orange undertone or like plum undertone are a lot more complimentary on my skin than the ones that are more pink. Like I can do pink with corals, but I feel like those bright baby pinks or like the dusty rose, they kind of, I like the way like the orange undertone looks better. So I, let's try it out. I have the brush, the small stippling brush. I like to use this for cream blushes. Um, sometimes the putty bronzers don't have a lot of pigment. Let's see how it looks, if it's pigmented or not. Oh yeah, there's some pigment. There's definitely some pigment. I have another blush, it's more on the pink side, and it is more pigmented than the putty bronzer. I think like with the orange, it's like the blue in my eyes, like it gives it more of the complementary color, so it kind of just makes my eyes pop a little bit more and vice versa. The blush probably pops a little bit more with the blue, but yeah, definitely like that. Even could add a little bit of a reddish blush to it too, to give you more of that sun kind of sun kiss, sunburnt look. I have my plum blush from Honest Beauty and I'm just going to do that. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of like a berry reddish tone kind of more on my cheekbones than on the apples of my cheeks where the sun would kind of hit you. I'm gonna take my Lottie London Cloud Color, or Color Cloud, sorry, long wearing matte liquid eyeshadow. I have this in the shade peach out and just keeping like a really natural look today. This is just going to look really natural on the lids too. 
This is nice because it's creaseless. And it just adds a little bit of color to like the stark lightness of my eyes. But also just kind of blends in with like the bronze and everything. Just swiping it all over the lids. I just put on some mascara, tight lines, my lip liner combo, and this is the final look. I love the way it turned out. It feels really natural and effortless on the skin. My skin looks glowy and hydrated. And yeah, really love the combination of the Bahama orange blush with that little bit of plum or any kind of reddish tone blush that you have like right up on the cheekbones. I will definitely let you know my thoughts of the caffeine under eye solution. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this quick get ready with me everyday makeup, hydrated skin look, whatever you want to call it. It's so hard to label these videos and come up with titles that makes sense because really I just want to hang out with you guys, put some makeup on and have fun. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.